Hello, my name is Seth Kiesler, Senior Field Sales Agronomist with Growmark. I'm here today to talk to you about yield estimating corn before harvest. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the tools necessary to estimate yield before harvest in corn. The most important device that you need is a measuring tool, either a tape measure or a string with, with two hooks on the end to hook onto the plant so you can count final stand. The other tools that could be useful are a, a Sharpie, especially a wide one, and a calculator of some device or your smartphone with a calculator. While we are talking about measuring devices, one instance, this is not a measuring device. While this does contain a foot, it is not accurate and we want to maintain professionalism. So bring a measuring device along with you, a tape measure or a string. One of the most important things when doing yield checks is to make sure that the grower goes with you. This is the time of the year where it's almost report card time frame. You can see a lot of things that have been done correctly or incorrectly and now is a great time to get the grower out in his field with your seed to see how things are reacting throughout the year. So now using our string we're going to stretch it out between all the plants and use it to hook on two plants, one at each end and that'll give us our one one thousandth of an acre for our yield estimation before harvest. After establishing our one one thousandth of an acre, what we're going to do is determine our harvestable ear count by looking for full-sized husks with ears in them and not small half size ears that we wouldn't count as harvestable ears. Now after determining our harvestable harvest population, our final stand, we're going to actually take the ears. We need three ears, so we're going to grab the ears. I typically will do the first, the fifth, and the tenth, or the fifth, tenth, and the fifteenth. It doesn't matter as long as what you're doing is consistent across all populations and yield checks. After grabbing our ears out of the field, the next thing we'll do is we'll establish number of kernels per ear. So we need to gain length all the way down for the entire length of the ear, leaving off any irregular kernels at the tip uncounted and then also get kernel rows around by counting around the ear and typically I'll make an ink mark and then count all the way around the ear to get my rows around. After establishing our number of kernels per ear we need to get the average. We're going to take our three ears, three numbers, divide, add them all together, divide by three and that will give us our average kernels per ear. After we get the average numbers kernels per ear we multiply by population in this case 32,000 and then divide by 90,000 kernels per bushel and that should give us final yield. One important factor to pay attention when out in the field or doing yield checks is to take a look at the kernel size. You'll notice this one has a smaller more dense kernel than this one that has a much larger block ear kernel. Typically when comparing ear sizes or ear kernel size 90,000 kernels per bushel is, is a standard uh, sometimes I'll use 100,000 if I want to give myself a little leeway uh, in, in order to under-promise and over-deliver at the end instead of over-promise and under-deliver. One factor here is this one may be 90,000 or 85,000 and this gear here may be closer to 100,000 in, in actual terms. So keep that in mind when doing different hybrids that you may need to adjust the actual kernels per bushel. One of the other important things to look at as far as a report card for the year goes is to look at tip back. This ear here has a little bit more tip back than this one here. This is about perfect what I like to see at about a half inch to a three quarter inch tip back. That'll tell you if you have enough plants out there for your situation in your given year. That's an, a perfect indicator of how happy your corn plant was throughout the growing season. One of the other important things to remember if you're going to do multiple yield checks in one day is to have a way of identifying the ears from a particular field in each hybrid. This allows you to take all the ears and pull them and then go back to the machine shed if you want to and do the calculations with the grower. So to recap today, we've gotten the tools necessary to do a yield check. We've showed you how to do a final harvestable ear count, pulled random ears in the field and show you how to, how to count kernels per ear. Then you can do the calculations to give your growers the final yield checks and get them excited about harvest. If you have any more questions, contact your local crop specialist.